I mean, it's difficult to start this normally. Why? Yeah. Well, I to just... So, do what you normally do. I I, I, but I'm all like a fuffled. It's, it's going to be, it's going to end up, you should do. Do what, do you. You do you, and I do me. Right. And together we shall have a fantasy. No, 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 no. Uh, but you're here. <laughs> Figment you of know, imagination. But it's you. And it's you. It's you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm trying now. I'm trying. Uh, hello? No, that doesn't work either. <laughs> welcome to the channel and welcome to my latest battle report. It's the power of corn versus the might of the 13th. Today on the channel, 1,000 point custom mission because Mini Walk Baby Dave oh. is in the his house. No, it's you're the you're giving Dave. me your house. It's Thank Dave. you. Oh. Thanks for coming down. Um, so uh, how long have you been in the hobby and, and uh, what do you do here? And hi, would you like to tell the people about your... I did, Dave, you're uh. here. Why? I, I did to corn. Yeah. That's the answer to all questions of life. So Dave is here because of corn. Corn needs to shed some blood. We've set up this battle grid for you. We've got urbanmats.com mats. We've got March of War scenery. And this is part one. This is the skirmish, isn't it? Yes, skirmish. Part two is over on miniwargaming.com. This is when the 13th met the corn berserkers, met the, met the, your, the, your thing. I'm kerfuffled. It's hard. It's so we're going to have a thousand points here. <laughs> There's three objectives on the table, and it's a narrative. It's who you controls the objectives at the end of the mission will win. So basically, we just have to slaughter each other. We have to kill each other. Fall back and control these objectives. You got that? Slaughtering and killing. Okay, easy, done. You Good. know how to do that, right? I, I think. Yes. <laughs> Slaughtering and killing will happen. That's the 13th roll in and meet the corn berserkers. Yes. And then on mini wargaming, we're going to do the 2000 point one. 2K. 2K one. Yes. And there should be a link in the video description below. And then you go and click on that and you can think. So March of War for the scenery. Thank you, March of War. Urban mats for the thing. Thank you, the power of flight, which has brought... It's nice, isn't it? I love it so much. Oh, look at that. It looks real. Oh, it's, he made them. He painted them. He's Very a nice guy. Yeah. His last name is March. I think it's mm. like, so therefore March of War. You see, it's Very like, clever. yeah. And um, Dave is in the, his house. Why do you keep on saying that? Are you giving me your house? Uh, no, but thanks. But oh, no, but you're saying that your house is, oh, I get it. Okay. Well, and I'm trying to, it's like, that's what they say over in North America land, isn't it? Like his your house, house, house and house. shizzle and dude and things. Did I'm trying to make you feel at home. I feel at home. <laughs> so standard deployment, a thousand points aside. Um, let's go and have a look at these armies. This is 990 points of my custom space moon chapter known as the 13th, Dave. I love it. This is the 13th. We are called the 13th because we're from the 13th founding chapters. Ooh. So we're left over bits and pieces from many different chapters. We're not a successor, nothing like that. Mm. Okay. Um, so I'm picking the two, uh, the two traits I tend to pick are bolter discipline. So reroll kit rolls of one with a bolter. And I also pick, I think it's called Masters of the Forge. Masters. The one that gives you one free reroll. <laughs> one free hit. I think it's... I'm sens sensing a theme here. Yes. So, well, I mean, Blood Angels do lots of Blood Angel things. Deathwing are all transhuman and things. What we do is we're just very good at what we do. Because mm. we're a fleet-based chapter. We don't rely on anyone else. So reroll hits with bolt weaponry and reroll a, a hit every time you're called upon to shoot or fight. I think it's called Master Artisans, I think. So single patrol, six command points to play with. And as it's you... Um, I thought I'd break out brother, Captain Sol Garrow. He's got the Burning Blade and Imperium Sword. And, of course, 
a storm shield. Ooh. So he'll come rampaging forward. What? He's yeah, he's a nice, nice little guy. Uh and with the Imperium sword, when he charges, that'd be a strength eight with a with the burning blade. Because okay. burning blade is plus three. Did, uh, you just said eight, didn't you? Eight. Because Corn wants it? Yeah, because yes. Corn wants okay, it. Okay. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah. Uh, and then we've got two units of troops. Um, there's a power sword in this squad, a power fist and combi melter in that squad. A unit of stern guard. The, the idea is like Sol Garrow is in there. The rhinos are moving forward to this market square and then an ironclad. Simple, right? Cool. Heavy I bolt isn't. It. Yeah, that's it. It's not a lot of anti-tag except for coming up and punching you. It doesn't. It, comes up, it does. It does you know, what is this? Extra fuel? Yeah, extra, just, yeah, cool. like, bit, conversion bits and stuff. Nice. Yeah. And we got 2,000 points? Sorry, I interrupted. You were about to say something, and you took a breath, and I <laughs> jumped on it. I'm sorry. Yeah. 1,000 points, or 999 or something? 997. Okay. And it's a patrol. It's a patrol attachment. What do world eaters do again? What's their thing? Eat skulls for breakfast. Yeah, but in rules-wise. Oh, rules-wise. Okay, so okay. this is a patrol detachment. They eat skulls for breakfast. They, okay, this is true, too. Not Cocoa Pops. It's a crunchy, crunchy. Okay. This is my... Uh, HQ. Did you see what I did there? H. I did that for you? Yes. He's got a, let's see, Disciple of Corn is his warlord trait. Right. So I'm going to look at your your dude. Yeah. And I'm going to re-roll stuff. Okay. Because he likes your dude. Okay. That's what that does. And the okay. Talisman of Burning Blood. Right. That is his, that's his relic. So he can advance and charge and re-roll his He charge. could advance and charge yes. and re-roll his charge. That's right. By the way, thank you, Liam, for lending oh, me yeah. the army. Uh, Liam Dempsey's Eternal Slaughter. Coming in here. Thanks, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Love the name of that. There's conversions and everything. It's wonderful. Yeah, his name's Malok. Ka- Malok? Because mm. it looks like Liam to me. Like, look at that. Look at that hair. That is that really Malok? Well, I think Liam based his hair on this dude, not the other way around. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, yes. Husband of Burning Blood. That's right. And something else. A Kami Melton. Yes. That's right. And Disciple of Corn. That's yes. a border trait. Okay. Moving on. Second yes. HQ. We have a... Uh, Exalted champion. Right. He's got a mace. Okay. I'm counting that as a mace. Right. Yes, that looks very much like that. Because these, uh, he's allows reroll hit rolls of one. What does the assaulted champions do again? Reroll wounds. Reroll wounds. Okay. Yeah. Is that all wounds or ones? Uh, I'll double check. It's one of the other. <laughs> yeah. Usually things are dead. Uh, yeah, I'm Usually pretty sure. Dead, I'm pretty sure re-roll. it's. I'm pretty sure it's wounds. Okay. Um, but I'll double check. It's okay. been a while. Okay. It basically uh, makes the corn dude better. Speaking of the corn dudes, we have five, we have three five man corn berserker units. Right. Each equipped the exact same with the icons of wrath, right. rolling their failed charges. And then we have power fists on the champions. Nice. And then each one is equipped with chain axes and chain swords. Yes. So no shooting unless you consider frag throwing shoots shots. Right. But that's not quite what they would consider. They just like to do that. Yeah. Yeah, so there's three men, and then we have some red butchers back here, which are elite choice. Mm-hmm. What you see is what you get on them. Yeah. Except, oh wait, except for the Icon of Wrath. There's no modeled, I, that's the one Mark of Dave in the entire army. Okay, okay? Uh, so that's not WYSIWYG, that's okay. the proxy, and it's going to have to be on the dude with uh, the axe. That's, that's, he has the he Icon, the of, icon wrath. of Wrath, He's which the, is re-roll charges. Re-roll, fail, fail charges. Unless they update it soon, hopefully do, and then it's just re-roll charges, because in case I don't like something, I can just do it. Yes. Yeah. But And that's 2 CP for Red Butcher. It's giving them the Blood for the Blood God special rule, allowing them to uh, fight twice in the fight phase. Yeah. Heavy support choice, Mollard Fiend in the back with the Lasher Tendrils, because yeah. that is, by the way, I love that. Liam, how much do you want for this army? <laughs> I could ask him. Okay. Um, he, but he loves this army. This is his baby. This I, is his just, pride. I know, but babies this grow up joy. and they move out and they're going to do their own thing eventually, right? But Liam's got beards as well and he likes corn and blood and spilling and I Cocoa s- Cops Pops for breakfast. He loves these things. It's such a gorgeous... But Okay, so that's... Maybe he could like share and um, you can have this at the weekend and he has it through the week and... Shared custody or something. I would like that, but I think corn share is not. <laughs> Two rhinos. Yes. And we're going to fit dudes inside of rhinos. Yes. Thieves striking, possibly. And that's the 997 points. Of yes. 6 CP minus 2 for Red Butcher Patrol Detachment. Okay. So corn berserkers fight twice, right? They do. And then you give them the Red Butcher so they can fight twice. Correct. What else do world eaters do? Nothing. What's their trait thing? Oh, uh, oh the legion trait. All right. Yeah. So world eaters... On the turn that they charge, they get an extra attack. Get an extra attack when they charge. Yeah. That's in addition to like the hateful assault. So okay. It's... So it's like Blood Angels. 
It's a lot. In the assault phase. Okay, extra attack when they charge. Right, And they yeah. all get extra attack when they charge. Does that also work on the mauler field as well? No, I think it's, it's only it infantry. It's okay, like, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Infantry characters. So angry people with chain axes coming forward. Terminators teleporting in. Lots of attacks. Lots of re-rolling. Re-rolling to charge. Re double it. It's scary. It's scary. Let's go on to deployment. And we're deployed for this 1,000 point custom game. Winter Zezio versus Mini Wargaming. Dave, you've put your Terminators in reserve. I have. Terminators are still in reserve. But still. We, you've got um, uh, 10 in one, 5 in another. Correct. Yes? 5 plus the 2 HQs. Plus the 2 HQs in that one. Represented by the dude on top. And why did you put your Mauler Fiend all the way over here? Well, right on the flank? That seems a bit extreme, dude. One of three choices. See, I said dude. It's like an American I see thing. it and I appreciate like, it. Every yeah, groovy. It's, yeah. I, three heads. Yes. Argued a bit. Yes. Finally decided on this corner right here, 12 inches up. Okay. Yes. But it's on, it's like... Is lonesome. You put that there because I put this here, didn't you? You might be right. Okay, so I've got ten dudes in a rhino here with a sword facing a mauler fiend. We're really wishing they had brought their melter guns along with them. <laughs> the other ten dudes are down here. That sergeant has got a melter gun, a combi melter, and a power fist. So Garo is in there with this uh, with the stern guard, and there is my ironclad, and that's it. Um, yeah, no reserves for me. You've got some Terminators that I can jump in. We need to score these objectives at the end of the game. The first time that the 13th clash against your World Eaters. Well, Liam's World Eaters, but World Eaters that you are the general of. The Lord of Disaster, the champion of chaos. And now we need to roll off to see who goes first. I, I didn't have any red dice. I don't know where they've got. You've got blue dice. But after Cancel you, sir, the red dice. Yeah, good luck. Okay. Okay. What? You, there's a reason why you waited for me to roll first. Because you're the guest. It's polite. Oh, it's polite. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All right. So. Okay. And that's a six. That's a six. The first roll on my channel that you have with your dice is a six. It's yes. a good effort. I like it. I rolled a three. You can choose whether you want to go first or second because it's open and things like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I will choose to go first. I'm going to move this forward. Yeah. This being this rhino, three inches. Normally I don't record the movement phase. I noticed that. It's like here we are at the end of the movement phase. But you guys record the movement phase. Is it so aggressive with your tape measure? I love it. So very then, corny. I'm just going to go okay. right forward. Did that pop in the smoke? Because, you know. You, this, this. Oh, yeah, you've got the old pop smoke thing. I I'm, I'm not new. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of old school. This one is. Oh, another six. There you go. Where do you get the... You sell these, right? Yeah, they're available from the DeploymentZone.tv merchandise page. Uh, while we're talking about that, uh, support Mini Wargaming. Go there, subscribe, become a Vault member. Um, things. Um, and here we are after Mini Wargaming Dave's movement phase. Um, you've got Terminate Mini Wargaming who's in my house moving miniatures around. Uh... Do you, would you like to bring your Terminators in? You can bring your Terminators in. It is not match play. Uh, oh, uh, no. No? Gonna, no, they're, they're taking a break. Interesting how you pointed at him, though, when you said Terminators. I, yeah. Um, he advanced. They advanced. Are they popping smoke? They're both, both popping smoke. It might as well. So you're coming right for me. That's the corn thing to do. <laughs> Let's go to the 13th still, what? And so here we are after the 13th movement phase. Uh, I have tactically repositioned away from the onrushing corn berserkers. The ironclad moving this way, the rhino moving back around there, carefully and strategically putting a building between me and a rampaging mauler fiend. And then over here, my two rhinos were here facing all the corn berserkers, and they have tactically repositioned away round to the flank as well. And everything's advanced, so I have no shooting. That is also the end of my turn one. See, I'm being very strategic and moving right and left away from you. So um, I've noticed. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is actually play the longer game here. The winner is he who controls the objectives at the end of the game. So I need to survive. If I can ring around the rosies with the corn berserkers for a turn or two, that's fine by me. Don't let blood get spilt this day. Corn shall not have his wrath and his pain, nor his glory. As we go into Mini Wargaming Dave's turn two. What are you thinking, Dave? I'm thinking. Yes. Of engaging in your game here. 
of maybe I run away from you. But so that your no, no, no. bolter shots are wasted. No, what you're supposed to do now is get out of your rhino no. right in front of all of these bolters so I can shoot you. That's what you're supposed to do. I recognize the supposed to's in life. But since when does corn do supposed to? Since when does corn go reversing in a rhino? There's a reverse button for a reason. <laughs> yeah, but you've never pressed it before. It's so odd. <laughs> Play a game like this. So at the end of your movement phase, that's, that's the end. That's it, turn two. That's it. I'm gonna stay in the middle. Right. Okay. This is like a good pseudo king of the hill now. Yeah. Where come to me. This is my party. You're invited. Uh, Please. But you're scary. <laughs> okay. So you found the reverse button after ten thousand years of driving around in these rhinos. Ooh, what does that do? Boop. Do you want to bring the Terminators in? You can bring the Terminators in. <clears throat> um, I understand the bait of your question, and the answer is. Not yet. Okay, right. So that's the end of Mini Wargaming Dave's turn two, um, which was the last thing I expected to happen. <laughs> you are, I will not rise to your bait. I will outbait your bait. Um, bait I, the baiter. I can actually have to. What? Hmm? Something about what? Baiting the baits. Uh, Kathy Bates. In, it's going to be a misery of a time. That was great with the ankle thing. That oh, was, Corn was, loved it. I saw that in the Dude. cinema. It was like. Oh, you felt everything. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Space Marines turn two. And here we are after the 13th movement phase, skirting around the edges of the market square. That uh, rhino advancing there. This one reversing Solgaro is still inside of it. But the stone guard have got out. And then over here. Yes. Circling around. We weren't expecting this maneuver from the world eaters, mm. this push forward and then a retreat. So, hmm. Tactical Doctrine is now in effect. I have spent two CP on steady advance on the unit of Stone Guard, so the count was stationary. And this is gonna be 10 shots washing towards the lines. So we're shooting at the Monophene, we're hitting on threes and I'm re-rolling ones because that's what I do with Bottle Disciplines and I re-roll a hit with Master Artisans. Every time I called upon to shoot or fight. Uh, strength four, toughness seven. seven, wounding on fives. I, four wounds, look, they're AP minus three right now. Uh, do you have dice? Yes. I give you some dice. Four, five up saves. <laughs> three uh, go through. Three go through. It's three damage. Nice. And then the heavy bolter will speak and go daka daka daka, because that's the noise heavy bolters. That's, <laughs> that's the, yeah. Um, threes to hit you. Rerolling ones because it's a bolter weaponry. Look at all those sixes. These right. dice available from the deployment zone.tv merchandise page. Uh, wounding on fives. Um, three wounds at AP minus one on the morphine. It's taken three wounds already, and it takes another four wounds in total because it's two damage a time. That's seven wounds, unless you want a command point. You haven't spent any command points yet. No thanks. It does slow it down though. Yes. Which is, if it bleeds, we can kill it. I don't think it bleeds though. Um, <laughs> that's the end of my shooting phase. That's the end of Space Marines turn two. It's two. It's two. So here we are, partially into Mini War Gaming Dave's movement phase. He zipped forward, then he zipped back. Now he zipped forward again, and the Morphine zipped over here, advancing all around. And you're thinking about where to put the Terminators. That's the thought. What What, what are the thoughts? Share your thoughts with people. I could go over here because this objective is unsupported right now because of the Malarfine doggy. Yeah. Going, <laughs> it's yeah. basically switching, right? There's or, only one model here. You're right. Only one objective. Yes. Over here. Yes. See, this is what happens every single time. When the corn brain starts thinking objectives, I lose. So <laughs> maybe it's just put them forward and then course correct as we go. Right. That's what I want to do in life. Do them correct. Yes. That's what I want to do. So you're putting them down there. Are you I, is this I, your final answer? I am placing <laughs> models yes. without adding the word final to it. Okay. Yeah, so they're going to go here. Because what you'll do if you stick them there is there's 20 plus models there. And there are two objectives here. Yes. So it doesn't... Is this one really relevant is the question. No. No relevancy. No relevancy. No, no, no. Do you, uh, your world, your corn berserkers, though, those dudes, they actually count as troops in your patrol, don't you're they? They do wrong. have you're not wrong. objective secured. Oh, absolutely correct. Okay. Yes. So you do have a lot of objective secured down here. There's a lot. Okay. Yeah. Final answer. 
<laughs> Your stir card is scary! They almost kill my Mahler fiend! By the way, I got my one wound. Oh yeah, you got a wound back. You're back yeah. up to six wounds yeah. on the Mahler fiend with infernal regeneration. That's right. And I did advance so that he went a little farther. Yeah. So, um, the roll of six on the... Where do you get the dice again? There's... Uh, the deployment zone. .tv, merchandise page. Excellent. Uh, also visit the uh, Mini Wargaming store for Mini Wargaming dice and merch. Like Mark, Mark of Dave t-shirts and things. True. A few moments later. Dave moved the Terminators from here to here because we have discovered uh, mistakes were made. Uh, because I'm just on the other side of a barricade, you only need to be within two inches coherency. Two inches engagement range for when you fight. So this is a seven inch charge. So they're deep struck in here. Yes. This is final decision. Final decision. I recognize it's a bait trap. Right. But that's fine. Okay. So do you want to shoot first? I kind of know. No. No, I don't want to. Why yeah. don't you want to shoot first? The charge is going to be harder because if you kill a couple, then that I've got to jump over that. And it's minus two. So that seven becomes an 11. Okay. So I kind of don't want to do that. Yeah. So they've teleported in. The bloodlust is already up. They keep their finger off the triggers instead of revving their chain axes. And they charge. Yes. Do I want to... Actually, I will shoot at you. Oh, I'm going to shoot over here. Might as well. Okay, so yes. they can rev in there and then they look over their shoulder and fire this way. <laughs> so the Red Butchers are firing at the Ironclad Dreadnought. They're hitting on threes. I'm popping a strat. Yes. Yeah, veteran. Okay. Therefore, we're going fours. Fives. Because you're eight, tough as eight? Yes. Okay, then fives. Yes. Ooh. And so four wounds. Okay. Four, three up saves. Um, I make them all. Oh, four the, shot. The Reaper, yes. Three. And then uh, uh, fours, fours now. Yeah, fours. At minus one. Minus one. But only one damage each, and I make those saves as well. Uh, there's a, the plasma, which hits. Wounds. And wounds. I need a six. I can't save this, can I? No. no. It takes a wound. It's on seven left. I think that's it for the shooting phase, because everything else advanced. Yes. Yes? I think that's right. So would you like to charge? Uh, what? Yeah, okay. Overwatch! <laughs> I need sixes. The reason why I'm overwatching is because I reroll ones. So look, four ones. Why can't there be four sixes? Um, I don't get any sixes. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> seven inch charge. Good luck. All right, There's an icon in here as well. Yeah, it's right? rerolling it's if I fail, but I got a seven, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, but that's not the blessed number. You should re-roll it. Uh, but it says fail charge. Okay. Technically, I can't re-roll it. Okay, all right. Yes. Charge. Uh? Right, these guys attack twice. I'm not going to pay to interrupt because of Terminators. Um, the champion, how many attacks does he has? Uh, he's got uh, that many, plus right. world leaders, plus hateful, plus fight twice. Ten attacks with a power fist. Yeah. It's That's this. very scary. Yeah, I think he has three base, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so fours. Uh, oh, it's per phase, right? But I'll be wounding on twos, so there's no need for veterans. I'm just thinking aloud right now. That's okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Do you have anything what? special? Is that I'm not like forgetting something? Yeah. Transhuman is the only primary, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Our Mojima marines don't have any other special no, spells. There's a bait. You're not going to yeah. put command points in the bait. I'm what? overthinking this right now. You are. Okay. okay so hitting on fours. Okay. Woo! These. Th I really got to get some of these dice. It's incredible. That's a three. That's, that's a, a three. That's a three. And then two. Two to wind. Um, okay, I six. need a bunch of sixes. I need six sixes, in fact. Uh, each of these doing two damage. Um, that's the squad. That's Entirely it. obliterated by just the champion on his home. Excellent. At the end of World Eater's turn three, they have finally let some blood flow. Well, it's turn three. It's turn three. Wow, yeah. okay. All you right. went forwards, you went backwards, you've come, it's turn three. Wow, yeah. Uh, you're currently on all three objectives as well, so you are winning. Um, <laughs> you counts for the end. Wiped out an entire unit of Sterngard. Um, I was basically considering every turn that I kept corn Berserkers from going Berserk and killing me was a turn that I was winning. That's what I was trying to count on. Fair enough. But now I think I'm going to actually have to disembark some transports and fight back in Space Marines. Turn three. Here we are after the 13th movement phase. Um, the Corn Berserkers and the World Eaters have made a move. So I must 
move as well. So round here, the rhino, the guys have got outside of the rhino and they're gonna charge this smaller fiend after the ironclad takes a shot at hit with the melter. He's also got a heavy flamer as well, which is a heavy weapon, but the melter is an assault weapon. I did advance, I will be firing through trees. There wasn't, because craters slow you down, it was impossible for that to charge. I would have liked it if it had charged, not these dudes. But between the two of them, should be able to kill the Mauler Fiend. Should, I say. And the Assault Doctrine is now active. Ooh. Okay? Dangerous. And then over here, I kept Brother Captain Soul Garrow mm. inside the Razorback. If I'd have got him out and joined into this melee... Please! Well, there's 15 Corn Berserkers there. You're not wrong. And so that he would have... Yeah, so Please, I... Please, uh, this is my bait. Yes. This, are you, do you accept the cheese? Um, I, I like cheese. Who doesn't like cheese? Uh, who doesn't yes. like cheese? On pizza and things, it's lovely. Pizza? P pizza. That's, I heard. Uh, right, so we're going to shoot them. And these guys got out the rhino as well. Lots of shots in. Try and shoot them. Try and take away the Terminators. Try and take away the Morlefiend. That's the plan. Okay. Okay? Yeah. We'll start. B? We'll start. Um, there is no plan B. Um, we'll start over here with the Melter firing in. I need a four because I advanced and I rolled a six. Um, and then I need a three to wound and a wound. And you need a five up and vulnerable save. Here it is. Uh, I'll reroll. Come on, boy. <laughs> D6 damage for two damage. It's down to four remaining. Then lots of bolters are going to wash into it. Threes. Rerolling ones. Here we are after the rerolls. And fives to wound. Um, three. <laughs> three, three up saves. I take two more wounds. Wow! Off. It's down to two wow. wounds. Nicely softened up and tenderized, ready for the charge. Now we're going to come over here to Razorback, firing in at Terminators. That's the name. I remember the name. These hit on threes, and I reroll ones. And that was a three. <laughs> strength, strength. Hey, why'd you remove it? It was a three. Yeah, but uh, um, I, I don't feel well. It knocked it, so it's all good. Okay, uh, threes to wound, five wounds at minus one, oh. each doing two damage. How many wounds does your terminators have? Two each because I am not you. Okay, so three up saves. <laughs> oh, 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 and you've done a command point reroll already. You're, you're not wrong about that. That wipes out two of the terminators. Two down, three to go. This squad will unload, rapid fire everything into them. On threes, re-rolling ones, and a re-roll, another miss. Fours to wound. Um, six to up six. Oh. 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 oh, lots of twos, yes. but only one. One. Okay, one, one, one. Okay, so you shall live. Do I charge them? Yes. Oh. But if I charge, All I mean, you're going to charge me. No, yeah, you're you're actually. You're right going to jump it. over there and charge me. Yeah, I'll shoot you first. But if I charge you, then you're going to charge me. But then it's turn four. I need turn five. I have to. Well, I'm going to charge over here. They're definitely charging into the Morfind. Um, that's a five minus two because I'm jumping over the wall is three, but I will get in. And then over here, see, look, this is the, you got a gazillion attacks. We saw what one dude did. And I come in and then, then but mind you, you're going to be bottlenecked quite a bit. Yes. So let's charge you. Let's charge. Oh. 11. Corn wants it. Definitely. After the charge phase, the 13th make it here. One of the dudes won't be able to fight. And then over here, the tactical squad engages the Mauler Fiend. He's only got two wounds left, right? Correct. Only two wounds, which is not very many attacks. No, it's, oh, you're right. It's not many attacks. So I'm going to fight here. One of them can't fight. Here's the, uh, all the dudes uh, with their normal close combat weapons. Um, no re -rolls. Power fist. Re -rolls for shooting? Only for bolter weaponry. I do have a reroll for the power fist, but I'm going to do that last. Because one of your terminators is on a wound. So I'm trying to chip that one away before I punch you with the fist. Forced wound. So, so that many wounds. At AP minus one, because of the tactical doctrine, that is six. That was six. Six, six, three up save, sir. Good luck. And one dice. Ha! Well, well actually, yeah. Because it's three one. up, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. So one's dead, one takes a wound. 
Uh, and then the power fist will strike you with the right, great righteousness and furious anger on force. And now I can do my reroll. So I hit twice. Wounding on twos. I wound you both times. Five up invulnerable saves or death. Death! Death is oh, what I say. Oh, death! Oh. Yeah. Yes. Because it's minus three, four, two damage. Yes. So that... Uh, I did kill both. But that's okay. Come on, boy. No? Mm, no. No? Why is it okay? Because of blood flowing? Yeah, but because you, you can tell they're closer or stay there. Either way, you're close enough. Oh, yeah. To them. Yes. To all Ooh. of them. Ooh. So I'm not going to consolidate closer towards the corn berserkers. Meanwhile, over here, you spent three CP. You're interrupting a one CP on Demon Forge. Yes. And you're going to strike me down. I am. Okay. This is correct. Now the fist's also plus two strength, so that's actually not four as the wounds. Okay. Yeah. So um, you're hitting on fours with two attacks, but plus one because of hateful assault? Correct. Okay. So And you and the CP's demon forge rerolling all hits and wins. So this is the fists so with the reroll. Re yes, re yes. Still. Okay. okay. Two's to wound. Two's to wound. Both. Alright, and that CP minus three, so I need sixes. Uh, two, uh, two of them die. Two right? deaths so far. Okay. Now six. Lasher tendril. Six lasher tendril attack. Who uh, Rerolling these two. Okay. Because I still need fours. Oh, everything six. hits. Now this strength one is, is. This one should be strength three. Uh, you. I need threes to wound you. You need well. threes to wound. Okay. Yeah. Re With the two. two new dice. Those two are fired. Right. Okay. 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 Six wounds at minus two. Everything hit. Everything wounded. Yes. Minus two. Minus two and okay. two damage. I need fives. So there are deaths on no. the horizon. Many fives. One, One five. five. I can man point that. Two fives. Okay. Uh, that's six in total. I'm Wait. happy with this. You're happy with that's that? That's pretty good. Four tactical marines standing after yeah. I charged you. Yes. That is brutal. Um, I will hit you with my sword. Okay. Hit you with my rhythm stick on threes. <laughs> Drop dice don't count. Reroll in oh. that. Fives to wound. One wound. Five of vulnerable save. It's on one wound remaining, and then the remaining three guys. Six attacks to kill it. Bring it down. Only two three hits. Three hits. Fives. This is close, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no! So we'll do a morale thing. Okay. I need a one. That isn't a one. One runs away. And then... I don't roll any more ones, so those three stay there. You will get a wound back I with know. Infernal Thingy Bob. Yes. But defenders fight first. So what I'm saying is, there's a chance. There's always a chance. <laughs> As we go on to Corn. Turn four. And here we are after Mini Wargaming Dave's movement phase. The Maul of Fiend takes a couple of steps backward. He isn't, it's not cowardly. I like to think that the charge in from the 13th and he fought back and killed a couple of them. And he's gone back a couple of steps to lick his paws. And uh, which will allow the rhinos to fire in and probably polish off this squad. It is the tactical thing to do. And it is the corn thing to do because he's got blood all over his paws and it tastes yummy. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile... The remaining world eaters have exploded like Katy Perry's firework from the rhinos. Like a firework. That's how it goes, right? But they're corn berserkers. They're singing that song really angrily. Like a fire as they come out of the thing. And you're going to multi-charge everything. Everything. Uh, it's finally time to finally. let the blood flow. Is there any shots anywhere? Yeah. There is a combi melter in there somewhere. Well, there's also some uh, crack. He's got the combi Grenades. melter. Crack grenades. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, chuck a grenade then. Where are, we, where are we chucking a grenade? I actually. I don't know. He can't. But like... he can calm me out this. So. Okay. All right. Then. So let's do that right now. Yes. Okay. Just yes. That's, uh, I'm going to reroll that again uh, by himself because I'm old school. Oh, yeah. You're old yes. school. Yeah. yeah. Reroll hit rolls of one. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Yeah. And then you're eight. So four is the wound. Yes. It is four is the wound. Yes. That's a wound. That's a wound. Um, I don't get a save. It's saving minus four. It goes straight through. Well, let's see what it does. That's four. Uh, four. So this is on three wounds remaining because it's already taken one earlier on. Just three left. Mm. And then we'll chuck some more grenades and shoot some bolters and things. Yes. Right there. 
look, Dave is in front of the shelves and things. Is anyone else freaked out by this, Internet? Am I the only person freaked out by this? I'm freaked out. Tom, are you freaked out by this? Oh, this is Tom, by the way. Oh, this is Dave. <laughs> Dave, I'm freaked out by this. You're so very... Can I just mention that I'm slightly freaked out by this? You're very kind. But no, it's... Yeah, okay. Right, what are we doing? Okay, cracking the... Well, you're here! Right. You just stood there! Like a... Like a okay, right. Crack grenade Crack into... Grenade. Yes. Uh, uh, Cocktail reroll. Well, up to you. I can't even... Uh, that's a hit. Okay. That's a hit. It's uh, always a hit to you. That's a wound definitely as well for you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a wound. I don't accept. That wasn't a wound. Okay. Oh, crack yeah, hit. Yes. Crack. Hit. Wound. Well, nope. Doesn't wound. See? Corn okay. doesn't throw. And then you've got the two combi bolters that you're going to fire over here, which will be four shots in total, right? I will do it, yes. Okay. And threes. And that's Everything all hits. hits. And fours. Oh, fours. One. One wound. I'll make a save. Mm -hmm. And that is the end of the shooting phase, but Corn excels mm -hmm. in the fight phase. So now, we shall charge. Where would you like to start the charging? Right here. I'm being charged by Mini Wargaming Dave. I, I know I got charged earlier on, but this is like a massive charge of things. Okay. Like things coming in. Firework, <laughs> Corny Berserk, they're gonna fight, fight, fight. But right here. Yes. I'm charging. They're, yes. Okay, I'm just going to do it. Yes. Uh, I, I rolled an eight. I, that corn, corn wants it. Corn wants it. Corn definitely wants it. They go flying in that way. Um, Over here. Okay. Where are your two characters? Oh, they're here. Yes, I'm yes. going to charge you. Uh, Overwatch. I'm going to Overwatch. Okay. There is a possibility I might survive because there's a heavy flamer on here and a melter. Yes. Let's fire the melter. And I can re-roll. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's snake eyes there. Hi, Jay. Go away, Jay. Right. Auto hits with the heavy flamer. Six. Six. Oh. Let's kebab burn some of these corny dudes. You said the corn dudes are doing it. Just the normal berserkers, right? I said I'm charging here. I didn't say the corn berserkers were. Oh. Who wants to eat Honor this? dictates that it is on the corn berserkers. Okay. Uh, well, they have five. Four up safes to make. Uh-oh. That's actually scary. And three of them get shish kebab. Ooh, okay. 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 Oh, yeah, I rolled. I didn't roll yet. You didn't roll yet? No. No, now you need to, to roll. Right, so, rolling. Uh, I think so long as you're seven away, it looks good to me. Yeah, yeah, good, actually. Yeah. You're in. Ah, oh, that is painful. But that's okay. That's okay. That's painful, but okay. Painful, but okay. You can do this. I can do this. Come on. Unleash the power of corn. I'm not going to actually uh, charge with these. Really? No, because they're providing rerolls for both units where they are. Okay. Okay. When your dude comes out, yes. then there's a better skull to be had. Right. Therefore, magnet attraction. I see. Okay. And flowers and dinner. You're telling them to crack open the thing so you can feast on his brains. Exactly. Where would you like to start the fight face? Right here. Right there? I'll start right there. He is the biggest threat. Absolutely. Okay. So is veterans. that like veterans? Definitely veterans. Yes. Because uh, you're strength 10 power fist. I do. Because you're strength 5 times. Yeah, okay. Therefore, so it'd be 2 to wound. 2 to wound. Yeah. Rerolling ones? Because right. exalted champion? Yeah. Yeah. And also reroll once to hit. Yes. Okay. Also. Right. I'm going to do uh, uh, Wild Fury. What's that? Uh, that is the one that is the better... Uh, AP. Right. I make a correction here. Yes. Stoke the Nails is debt to the False Emperor on right. fives and sixes as opposed to just sixes. Okay. Okay. With a Power Fist, it is on sixes. Okay. Okay. So I need this to happen and I need it to go through. Right. Yeah. Okay. Ten attacks because, uh, yeah. Yeah. So Berserker, there, Sergeant. Therefore, I'm not going to do Wild Fury. No? No need. Okay. Yeah. Ten. 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 This is the moment, by the way. I flew all the way across the pond for this exact moment <laughs> in time. There's a corn berserker, wild charge, hitting on force. Look at that one. Okay, so... Uh, Rerolling ones. Rerolling ones for the chaos Lord. Yes. Is okay. that eight out of ten hits? And see this. Eight out of ten hits. Corn wants it. Stoke the nails. Twelve so, out of... Uh, those are additional. Oh, uh, additional. Okay. okay. Which you... <gasps> 11 out of 10 hits. Yes. Okay. And twos to wound because of veterans. Twos to wound, yes. 
That's a bajillion wounds. Yes. Uh, are we rolling these? Because, because of, of yeah. him. And remember, this is one person. One person does this to me. I need this many sixes. No, he's dead. Does he blow up? No, he doesn't blow up. One dude. Excellent. Um, imagine how horrifying these people will be when they have two wounds. I'm already horrified. Which way are you going? Unfortunately, I'm closer. Okay. So I'm not going to move. I think this is the moment I have to pay to interrupt. I've still got four CP left. So I need to kill some of these before you kill every single one. So there's still one dude at the back who can't fight. But we'll start off with a power fist. And I can re-roll a hit. And I'm wounding on twos. And it is AP minus four with the tactical doctrine. So two die. So two die. Leaving only three remaining. But three of these things are still horrifying. <laughs> hit on threes with all the other dudes. And wounding on fours. <laughs> I got that from Mini Wargame in that thing. Uh, one, two, three, six. Six, 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 okay, okay. six uh, four-up saves. There's one left. And one of these is horrifying. Oh no, that's a three. That worked. I killed the squad. What? Command point? You've got one CP. One left. Okay. Don't do it, Dave. Don't do it. No! Okay. okay, so I killed his squad around him and enraged, he raises his power fist <sighs> and strikes on fours. There's no death to the false emperors then. No. What you're saying? Because mice want to hit. Okay, twos to wound. <sighs> Strength ten. Five. Five wounds. Um, five. Six up saves. He takes out four of them. And then it looks like this. Now we have squad number three attacking this Razorback. Here. I'll do the fist first. Yes, okay. And this, you got re-rolls here. Um, That's actually not bad. Mm. And then strength 10. Yes! Yes! That's really good. Uh, so I need five sixes. Uh, the rhino's alive on two wounds remaining. And then we have all uh, the other attacks coming in. And then we did all the bajillion other attacks coming in from all the other dudes. The razorback is dead. Does it blow up? That's really cocked. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it does three to them. Um, the three deaths. It's going to hit this, uh, do three to him, and then you roll for me. Ooh. Because that's what we do here. <gasps> three on me. And then on a one, Brother Captain Soul Garrow inside gets immolated in the explosion as well. That's right. That's right. Please don't die. Don't take it away from me. Oh, he's okay. He's okay. He gets out. He gets out. He's okay. That's good. That's good. And here we are at the end of that mad, mad charge. Fifteen corn berserkers came raging out of those two rhinos. And there is two, four of them left. <laughs> there was a lot of blood spilt. But in return, seven of my chaps died over here. I've spent two CP on insane bravery. They're... I don't want to lose any more of my troops. You have a leadership test to make here, though. Um, six. On a six, yeah. No! Yeah. Well, that's a six. One more, please. Okay, Icon of Wrath. Okay. And one or two. Okay, he's still alive. And over here? Same. Fine. Right. So you've got three. I've got three. That's the end of your turn four. Yes. That could have gone a lot worse for me. Could have. Much, much worse. This thing blowing up and wiping out three more corn berserkers and three corn berserkers. That could have changed the game, Dave. It could have. It could be changed. The Emperor protects. Have you heard that saying? Uh, He's a nice guy, golden throne, loves cornettos and hobnobs. Death to the false emperor. Um, he's how can he look this is the thing how can it be the false emperor if there's only one emperor he's he is the emperor right but so it can't be a another, false one there's another emperor what's his name Charlie Terry he who shall not be named okay is his name Dave no <laughs> so okay my turn four um I what? what what it's four did you I went first I went first you went first yes you went first it's my turn four then you have a turn then I have a turn and then that's it yes so I need to think now actually because um this I might there's a chance I'm saying there's a chance as we go into space marines turn four 
Here we are after the 13th movement phase, carefully positioning round now because at the start I thought I would just absolutely get rinsed, but there's a chance now. See, when I looked at your opening move, when I look upon you, I just quake in terror and fear. Horrifying. You shouldn't. Exactly. You shouldn't. So now, <laughs> I'm thinking there's a chance. Um, horrifying because of the power of chaos bleeding out of your eyes and the farts that you keep making in the room. Um, so we are, is that a bit like, should I mention that we're both a bit blowy today? Should or should I, should I move over the blowiness? It's truth. <laughs> it's eternal truth. So, there's a dude who's got to die. And what? Brother Captain Solgaro makes the charge and kills your lord. We have Captain on Chaos Lord action. Cool. This is the way it must be. This is the way it must be. But he's got to die with his 10 attacks with a fist. So, And I've got some shots and I've got a rhino. And then round here, the three fellas that survived the Mauler Fiend. You don't have any CP to interrupt now, you see. Great. I've moved around this way because I'm now in rapid fire range of them. It will be minus one to hit as I shoot through the trees. Shoot them, charge the Mauler Fiend on two wounds left, kill Mauler Fiend. What I'm saying is there's an opportunity to kill that. Them, them, them. Th there's an opportunity to kill a lot here. Mm -hmm. but You could possibly just table. With the exception uh, of the rhinos. With the exception of the rhinos. You could. I'm thinking, hopefully, some of these units die. So let's start off with these firing through the trees into the corn berserkers. Because um, this is the... Yeah, let's try, let's try that. Force to hit you. I reroll once. And I reroll a hit. And I wound you on a four. And I don't wound. So that didn't work. Good start. The rhino will fire through. <laughs> um, and I reroll a hit. And force to wound you. And I wound you once. And I kill one. You can take away the fist if you want. No thanks. <laughs> right, next up we come across here to the rhino which is in rapid fire range shooting at the guy with the fist on threes, re-rolling one of the ones and re-rolling one of these. Two hits on him. A wound. A three up safe. That's a problem. Okay. It turns out the combi melter is out of range of these characters. So I put the combi melter into him. But the other bolter shots are going to go into your dude to soften him up. He's got five wounds, right? Mm -hmm. And the burning blade does two damage. Mm. So... I see where you're going. No, no, no. I need, I need him dead. I need him... Everything into him. Every, everything. Here's the melter. And I can re-roll a hit. It hits. Two's to wound. It kills him. Dave, why are, you, why are you laughing? I'm laughing because you just killed my berserker. <laughs> Another fart. Uh, <laughs> do I, I don't know whether I should... No. One minute. Shall I edit? Right. Grenada time. Grenade from Captain into him. Yes. Soften him up. Yes? Uh-huh. So catch a grenade. Chuck it at you. And <laughs> it hits. Just. Strength six. And it wounds. Four up, invulnerable save. <gasps> I have no CP. D3 damage. I've got one CP. I think I might need to keep it for my save reroll because I, I got one this turn. This is tense, isn't it? A little bit. Two damage. Okay. Your Lord Malok is on three wounds remaining. And then we charge. Yes. And with the Imperium Sword, I can re-roll, because that was only a three. <laughs> and he makes the charge. One minute, you're going to heroically intervene, aren't you? Uh, no matter what. I need to find a way. One minute. There is no way to place Brother Captain Sol Garrow to avoid the heroic intervention from the other dude with the big hit stick. So that's where we end up after the charge phase. But we will come back to that, because first... I charged a Mauler Fiend round here. So, Tactical Squad versus Mauler Fiend Part 2. Round 2. Here comes the sword. And I can reroll a hit. And I need fives to wound you. And I wound you once. Invulnerable save. Coming up. Negative. So it's back down on one wound again. We've been here before, people. And <laughs> now I need to kill it. Uh, just find that last fuel line and pull out that bit and then set fire to it and watch it squirm and bleed. Not going to happen. 
No. Fives to win. No. One wound at minus one. A 50-50 chance. It's ah! dead. It's dead. Do I explode? Please don't. No. I saw the six for a moment, so I killed it. It took us two rounds, but the heroic boys from the 13th do manage to take it down and take a couple of steps. See, the thing is, there's a corn berserker with a power fist there. Yeah. Can I consolidate away from... No, you have to go towards the closest you model. Do. They think about taking a couple of steps forward. I will forward think not, and, and I will charge that. forward. And like, no, we're going to... Okay, we're not... We'll stay there. We're going to hide behind... Not hide behind <laughs> the trees. We're going to... Um, we're going to stay behind... You make, have made your decision. Maybe he won't see us. Maybe you're protected by the Mauler feet. The sergeant says, no, stop. Their vision is based on movement. <laughs> uh, okay, so Captain has four attacks... Plus Shock Assault, plus Imperium Sword, okay? My captain will strike your captain with the Burning Blade. Uh, this is a blade that he's carried for many, many years through time and space. About to be my blade. It's not going to be your blade. I shall strike you on twos. And he hits every single time. The expert swordsman that he is. It's plus three strength, but you get plus one strength on the charge. So I'm strength eight. Mm. So I will wound you on twos, David. Are you ready for this? David, I'm in trouble. Mini wargaming, David. More trouble. So when <laughs> when someone calls you David, it's like, you know, yeah, it's like when I hear Jamie, I know it's like things are going bad when I hear that. Very bad. This is tense, isn't it? A little bit. <laughs> I noticed. You're prolonging the, the death. Six okay. wounds! Six wounds! Slanish's number. She likes the pleasure and the pain. I need to save five of these to live. You need to say five out of six to live without any CP. It's been done before. It, it's possible. It is possible. Okay, so for dramatic effect. Okay. Okay. Okay, the first one. Ooh. Saves. 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 Oh. Ooh, one wound remaining. Yes. One wound remaining. No! 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 It falls. No! You only failed two. Uh. <sighs> You know what? It's because that. you softened me up with the shot. It is actually. It it's was only the because. perfect grenade. It's like, yeah, he threw the grenade, went boom with his feet. He staggered from the blow and then smush with the shiny, shiny sword of doom. After Chaos Lord Malak falls, the exalted champion steps forward to enact sweet vengeance. Mm -hmm. So this dude's got a lot of attacks. Only five. That's not a lot. Well, with shock assault? Is that with... That's hateful. Really hateful. Yeah, that's okay. four base. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's Five attacks. Yeah. Hitting on two twos. And there's a death to the false emperor. So that is five hits with a power more. So wounding on three. Okay. That's three. But he rerolls failed wounds? He does, actually. Yeah. So that's, that's five. five wounds. Minus one. AP minus one, but I have a storm shield. So my three up save remains a three up save because it pluses one to my armor. How much damage is it? Two. Just one. One damage. Yeah. Uh, threes. Uh, that was painful. <laughs> 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 he takes three wounds. He's on two wounds remaining. And that is the end of Space Marines turn four. How did it come to this? You've got a couple of models left running around in this arena in the middle. I've got my captain chipped all the way down to two wounds. That explosive fourth turn has changed everything. Now we're going on to turn five and the mad scramble to try and get on the last remaining objectives. Right, before we go any further, we've discovered we've got a rule. The Exalted Champion gets to re-roll hit rolls against enemy characters and he missed one hit. There was one. So we're going to do this one. So you get another hit, which hits. And a wound on a three. And wounds. Three up safe. So we caught it. The dice gods, as ever, when you catch it, say this is the way it should have been. And now we're going to move some models. Yes? Yes. Yes. Here we are after the World Eaters movement phase in turn five. Would you like to talk us through your thinking here, Dave? Because it's genius, I think. So... My Corvus Arca champion right there. Yeah. Moved forward this way. Uh, need a very low charge. Yes. I do have one CP in case I fail. 
Yes, got a CP this turn, yes. Okay, exhaustion. Charge them, kill them, consolidate onto objective, objective secured, you'll have that one. Exactly. I think there's very low probability that that won't happen. That seems guaranteed to it me. It seems guaranteed. Yes. Here. Yes. I stay in combat. Right. That's a good thing. You'll probably kill me. Let's just say you will. Yeah. You're going to kill me. Yeah. Because you attack first. Yes. Over here, however. Right. This is the key. These. Yeah. This one's going to stay here. Yeah. This rhino is going to charge that unit to hold you back. You yeah. might get a lucky overwatch with your mel melta. Yeah. Chances are it'll do nothing. Yeah. Tower fist, however, three attacks. All it has to do is survive my round. If it yeah. does, then you can't get enough movement. Yeah. To get because you can't. F uh, when you fall back, you can't advance because they have objective secured and get on that objective, right? right. You don't want them getting there. So he's uh, you want them locked here. Correct. Yes. And then maybe content. Um, yeah, mm. it's a good one. Yeah. Um, Why have you kept him in combat, the champion dude? Well, because uh, oh oh hold hold. Because if he falls back... I could fall back that way. You could fall back that and way. And you're forced to deal with him. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Or maybe I ignore him and just go that way anyway. That's right. Right? So... Because you're obsec. Yeah, so I am he's not going to help out at all no. over there. So that's useless. Yeah. There's a <gasps> chance he might live. Oh! What? What? Oh! What is your shooting with him? Uh, with him? You just have a grenade? Um, yeah. Okay, because I could fall back close to the tank. Yeah. And, you know, like, if you charge the tank, then I can heroically intervene. That is a thing that could That's happen. definitely a thing. It is a thing that could happen. That might be the thing that I do. So, yes, the exalted champion takes a couple of steps back after burying his mace into all the blood here. He takes a couple of steps back to um, lick the blood off the mace as well, just like the Morlefiend did. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. It isn't retreating. Mm -hmm. And that is the end of your movement phase. He can't fire, but we have some combi bolter shots that can rain into the tactical squad. You're right, they can, but they're not going to focus fire over there. Ooh, nice. Eight shots. Eight shots, all together. We're going to do both of them on threes. Does Corn want this? Four hits. Force to wound. Force to wound. Two, Two wounds. That's all that's needed. Two up save, because the storm shield gets me plus Double one. Double ones. <laughs> if it wasn't for the storm shield, <laughs> he holds the storm shield high and ricochets the blows. That is the end of the shooting phase. Ah, oh, right. Oh, you have a grenade, which could kill. It won't kill all three. There's six wounds there. You can chuck a grenade in. I don't think you need to. No, I'm not going because to because you've got ten attacks with a battle fist on the charge. I do. You can't. You can chuck a grenade if you nope. want. It. I, I don't want to make my charge. You've only got one CP. So, so should we charge? Onto the charge. Okay. Um, he's going 10. Uh, so he can I'll, end I'll up just... on the objective, essentially. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And then Rhino into them. Charge. And the Rhino makes the charge. And Mini Wargaming Dave acts his cunning plan. A plan so cunning you could put a tail on it and call it a fox. I will base touch both. Base touch both. Beautiful thing. Now we fight. Then we moved on to the fight phase. The Rhino revved its engines at those tactical marines, caused no damage, and now the Berserker champion lifts his power fist and tries to smush these tactical marines. He needs force to hit. Only three hits. That's a big deal. Twos to wound. He wounds every single time. Now, if I make a six... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I make a six? Mm -hmm. I can't make a six. I'm tempted to CP reroll. Because if there's one guy and one guy, that's contested, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's a one in six chance. One minute, I need to think. All right, Dave, because I'm going to get a CP in my turn, I've got one now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, it's going to be glorious. If I do this <laughs> and roll a six, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and roll a six, okay? All right, all right, all right. It's tense, this, isn't it? Uh, it's very tense. Just, just a six is just all I need. Does the emperor protect? No. no. They get wiped out. After that fight phase, the World Eater consolidated into the Rhino. He has objective secured. You've locked that down. We've done the fights back with the Rhino over here. Nothing happened. And then I came over here with my Power Fist and this tactical squad hitting this Rhino. And nothing happened. <laughs> it's banging on the side of the tin box. That is the end of World Eater's turn five. They're currently on one, two objectives to my one. Mm -hmm. 
How did it come to this? It's so close. It's so close. It's a very close game. So essentially, what I've got is a move six inches. Yes. And then I've got a re-roll charge to get there. And then I'll contest that one. You would. And then you'll be on one, I'll be on one, it'll be a draw. But if I kill it... I kill it, you win. I win. Yes. So let's try and do that. It's so close. I love this. So here we are after my movement phase. Haven't moved over there. That's a moot point. You've got that one. I've got this one. Solgara moves in. He's replaced his Storm Bolter with the shield, so he doesn't have a shot and I'm outside of grenade range. So it's just the charge. Mm -hmm. And I make the charge. Now that objective is contested. You could potentially kill him in close combat. <laughs> uh, but it's contested. Now, if I kill the Rhino, mm -hmm. I'll win the game. Yes. It comes down to my captain having a go at your Rhino. Okay? Yes. I hit on twos. And I can reroll a hit. And I am strength eight, your toughness seven, AP minus five, so it's threes to wound. And even if I rerolled some of these wounds, there's not enough to kill the rhino. It only takes four damage. However, it can fight back. There's not that. Well, there is that. What? But I realized I made a very big error. What? What have you done? Right there? Yeah. I consolidated into the rhino. Yes. And if I kill it, you could explode and kill me. Now, That's true. I don't get that point. That's true. Because Corn was just looking at big tin can. Right. Well, let's do that then. So that's the charge. Then it's defender's fight first. So you don't have to attack, do you? I think you do. I what? don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I always attack. Well, what would he do? He's corn. He would attack. He would let's attack. follow. He, he would, would attack. He would try and murder it. It's only a one in six chance of it blowing up. What's the worst that could happen? You beat the game. Right. Yeah. He's going to fight though. He's so going to six attack. Yes. Um, With four hits. Yes. Uh, He's going to be fine. Three to wound. Three to wound. Two See, wounds. you don't kill the rhino. Okay. Even if it's max. And don't make any saves. Right. That's four whack damage off the rhino. Now this one okay. gets to fight my captain. If you kill him, you mm. win the game. That's true, actually. Four attacks. Sixes. <laughs> one hit. One. Is it Death to the False Emperor? Do they get it? And Heretic start is keyword. I think they a do. Rhino? Yeah, the a Death rhino? Guard rhinos get the Heretic of Start is keyword. Better, Let's just say you've got another one because it's another six chance. One six. Roll again. Roll again. Okay, well, Roll again. You need to... I've got two up save anyway. It's going to be fine. It's, everything's fine. They don't have it, but. They don't have it. Okay. Okay, right. That's fine. And then we'll do these attacks. Okay. And I think that's it. So a couple more attacks over here. Whiffed and whiffed. We have whiffers all round. You're fighting back with a rhino, which whiffs. And that is the last action of the game. And this is the way the world ends. It just went in a draw. Yeah, it was a draw. It was a draw. Yeah. You've got an objective. I've got an objective. We can test this objective here. It's a draw? Somehow, after the chase forward and the tactically reposition, and then the charge of the corn brigade, and then the thing with the explosions, it ended in a draw? How mm -hmm. did that happen? <laughs> that turned into really tactical at the end. In turns three, four, or five, we were really talking and, and thinking in between all the game turns about what we're doing and how we're doing it. And that was glorious. And you're just stood here, look, you're stood here, here, and you've drawn. And I didn't lose to the Master of Disaster, the Champion of Chaos. I'm, I'm, it's a draw, but this is part one. Part two is in the mini wargaming YouTube thing. YouTube channel. Uh, in the end, I really enjoyed myself there. The scenery is from marchofwar.com. The battle mat is from urbanmats.com. You're from Canada land. So, ha yes, mini wargaming, visit them on YouTube. Talk to the people, Dave. Thank you for that. Yes. Links to game two where we're playing a bigger game. Yeah. And continuation of this battle. Yeah. And there was, you know, it's interesting. In the game, my Chaos Lord, had he charged your unit of tacticals yes. over there? Yes. And had I attacked there first? Yeah. And had I put my Exalted Champion in the Dreadnought with that other Corn Berserker squad? Yeah. That probably would have been a better choice. So your two HQs come this way and one, more Berserkers that way. But, uh, yeah, I think HQ so. HQ split? 
Ah, uh, yeah, because right, I okay. cast Lord that way, that way, and I attack there first. Yeah. Because they're obsec, right? Yeah. So I think that would have been the better choice. Yeah. Because they're alive at the end. They shouldn't be. How are their bodies alive at the end of this corn game? <laughs> That's what should have happened. But, but uh, you know, I was thinking tactically once again. Yeah. The tactical way of thinking is, oh, take advantage of the rerolls. You said whenever guys. you think tactically, I you lose. lose. Yeah. You so just I go. just go for it. But mind you, you couldn't um, uh, uh, factor in for exploding rhinos doing three damage and three damage. That was that happened. unforeseen. Yeah, because Corn wanted explosions. Definitely wanted the fire. Yeah. We got it. So, um, please check out the link in the video description below for me, round two, 2,000 points aside. I think we're doing against Mini Wargaming Dave. Thank you for coming all the way to Canada Land to see, uh, to see me and see a number of us YouTubers. We're doing lots of things. You just, did you just call England Canada Land? <laughs> you've come from Canada Land to oh, England. Okay, yeah, that's correct. That's right, Canada A. And then tomorrow we're going to see some people, Vanguard Tactics, and yes. a few other things. So you're going to be taking part in lots of things while you're here. While I'm here. And um, yes, uh, let's go and have some a cup of tea. Lovely cup of tea. It's now the tea phase. Tea time. Tea time. Happy Wargaming.